All right, today we're going to look at how to use rating smart chips in Google Sheets. It allows you to give a rating anywhere from zero up to five. So we're going to show you how to insert them and how to use them in an application such as this for an employee performance review. And if you know Michael Scott, you know we can't really give him a five for efficiency. We're going to have to give him a one star. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and reset this just so I can walk you through this from the beginning of the smart chips and build in these scoring. So to insert a smart chip, there's a couple ways you can do it. One is from the insert menu and you can go smart chips and rating just like that. Another way you can do this is through a right click and go to smart chips and rating. So one thing to keep in mind is that this only accepts whole numbers. And so if we do, for example, 1.5 and insert that smart chip, you can see now we have an error because it's not a whole number. So that's just important to keep in mind as you work with this. If you're having issues, you need to make sure that you round these to whole digits. So let's go ahead and add these smart chips for this whole range now. And so you can see I selected this whole thing and I'm going to insert these rating chips for the whole table. So next, let's get a overall average score here. And so we can just use something like average and include these. Now we don't have a round number here. So what we're going to have to do is round this off using the round function. And that gives us a round two there. So let's go ahead and pull that down and we're going to do formula only. And so now we can go back here and insert the smart chips for those. So now we have a individual metric and overall rating. So let's go ahead and add some conditional formatting to this just to get a little pop and color. So let's go ahead and do conditional formatting. And we're not going to do the background, so let's go ahead and do none on that. Let's just do uh, some green text and we'll do if it's greater than, let's do greater than or equals to four. And then let's add another rule. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to, instead of adding another rule and do it from scratch, I'm just going to click on this one and do add another rule. And then let's do greater than or equals to two and change this to yellow. And then finally, let's do this again and we'll do everything less than two is going to be red. Maybe we'll go down just a hair so it's not super bright. So there we go. Now we have some nice colors representing and if we change this you can see that the color changes as well. So now we have a quick visual overall to be able to tell the overall performance for each person. So let's get an average overall of everyone. And so what we can do here is we can do an average um, of the entire field here and what we're going to do let's go ahead and put the we'll put the smart chip here so let's go ahead and actually move this down so average and there's our actual numerical average so let's go ahead and keep that and then above we'll do round and we'll round this off so that way we can use this for our smart chip and there we go. There's our little rating there. So let's go ahead and add our conditional formatting to this one real quick while we're here. So conditional formatting. And again, we'll reset that. We'll go to our green. And again, that was greater than or equals to four. We'll duplicate that. Greater than or equals to two. We'll change that to yellow. For our final one, let's do uh, less than two and change that to red. There's our three rules there. And so now we can see there is our rating. All right, and then next, let's do a department average. And so let's do the smart chips here, and then we'll do an actual score here. And so this is gonna take a little, just a little bit more. So we're gonna do this average ifs, and let's average up the efficiency here. 
and then where this department is equal to management. And so that gives us a one, and that's obviously coming from Michael. So what we're gonna have to do here, let's go ahead and lock this so we can drag it down. So I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard to add these dollar signs. If you do not have an F4 on your keyboard, just add these dollar signs before each letter and each number. And that's what that's gonna do is when we drag this down, it's gonna keep that range from changing. And so this is only averaging efficiency. So what we're gonna have to do is combine a couple of these. So let's just do this. And then what we're gonna do is actually wrap this, if I can get the beginning here, in an average. So we're gonna get an average for each, the efficiency, teamwork, and engagement, and then we'll average that out. And so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna update our column reference, just like that, and then get our overall average. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this and copy and then go ahead and paste special and formula only. So there's our scores and then we need to turn this into a smart chip. And so we're gonna go ahead and round this off. And then let's go ahead and copy this formula down. And now we can just simply turn this into a rating chip. So there we go, we have a rating chip for each one. And so finally, just to wrap this up, let's go ahead and add our conditional formatting here. And again, we'll just run through like we have been. We'll do greater than equals to four. And let's copy this rule and do two. And then finally do this again, add another rule, and then we're gonna do less than two and change it to red. So now if we do this, we can see we have each department rating and we can compare it just like that. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope that helps you to see how you can use the smart chips in different ways. And so you could use this for employee ratings, you could use it for products or service and be able to break it down like that. I'm gonna have a link to this sheet in the description below. So you can make a copy of this and modify it for your projects, play around with it. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the other videos on my channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Thanks guys, have a great day.